So on one level, I see the mainstream storytelling as deeply just corrupt and, and, and so boring, right? Like, I, uh, you know, Foundation is one of the best sort of science fiction series that's ever been. I love science fiction. So they just come out with a new, a new, uh, new Foundation thing. And, um, and they cast Jared Harris as, uh, as, as Harry Seldon. And Harris was amazing and, and lots of things. So, you're, okay, cool. This is going to be great. So you, you start to watch it and um, they've, they've gender and race switched gal and so you said well it's a, it's a, it's a it's a it's a far future world right there's no reason why the people are going to be any color that we currently yeah. so that doesn't really matter except for that it's emblematic of the way that the culture that our stories are being told now and, and especially if they make it an issue in the yeah. story then it's another level because it's like okay until you it, made it an issue in the story i yes. didn't care about this but now i do care about this well, that's the funny thing. So I look, so I have this like, okay, I know that I know that something is going to be ideological once certain things start happening, probably. So you see Gal Tarkin and and it's a brown woman instead of a white man, and you're like, okay, but it actually doesn't matter. To her role in the story has nothing to do, or his role in the story has nothing to do with his race or his gender. So it's like, well, I'll, I'll ignore that. But then they introduce Salver Hardin, who's like the first heroic character, and they've also raced and gender switched him. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work because the thing that's interesting about Harden is he's he's this super agentic, assertive, masculine leadership rebel 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 character, whose whose um, whose key saying is violence is the last resort of the incompetent, and he solves everything without using violence. That's the whole element of his story. And then they change him, but they and they put a woman in his place, and then they make her very violent, <laughs> and she solves everything by violence. And so they take this idea of toxic masculinity, which is being critiqued in the original character of Salver Hardin, and they make it good so long as it's a brown woman who is doing it. Yeah. And so the, the entire meaning of the story has now been inversed, but there's no, there's no new meaning that's actually transformative or powerful. Yeah, and it's and it's this is something that if people want to, like I if people want to know, this is something that's going to happen more and more, is that. There's going to be there's going to be a lot of stories where the bad guy is the woman. This is going to be really important. Where the most evil, most bad guy person is the woman, and like for example, in in uh, in the Falcon and Winter Soldier series, they had this um, this uh, terrorist uh, woman who is cruel, like would kill people, would do all these things, uh, and and she was like the leader of a terrorist group. Like how many leaders of terrorist groups are women? Like come on, man, seriously. Yeah. Uh, but okay, whatever. And so it's like, okay, see, here she is. She's like, multi, she's like a kind of multi-ethnic character, you know, that actress with the with the the red hair. She's kind of, she, I don't know, it's it's hard to tell. Uh, and so it's like, okay, this like multi-ethnic character, and then and then they portray her with like the deepest sympathy that you could imagine. Yeah, yeah. I I, I was just and like, what? Like, are you serious? Is this yeah. happening? On top of the antichrist Christ pattern. The, the, the video of yours, the, probably the video of yours that I think has made the most impression on me, just like really was thinking a lot about it, was the Montero and WandaVision video. And uh, the idea that, that WandaVision is the story of the Matrix stole, told from the perspective of the Matrix. Of the Matrix, pretty much. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it, and, and, you, and you are seeing that, right? And it's, there's something very strange about that. So... We could dig deeper into that, but I wanted to to kind of root back to another point, which is you're saying look for the narrative of the return of the king. I don't see it, right? I'm not seeing it, and 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 like you know, I pointed out Harry Potter as as the story that kind of like most embodies a lot of the archetypal stuff that say something like Tolkien had, but but it it, it <laughs> it's it, not there yet. Down, it's but down, it's gonna it's it's yeah. going to it has to come. There's no way around it. Like it's. But it's because it's even, but it's not going to come necessarily from the same sources. It's going to come from a surprising place, because because obviously the, the these these patterns of storytelling are going to just keep ramping up and keep you know the, the the one which is becoming so nauseating and like just so obvious is the idea like the anti it's a, it's another interesting antichrist pattern which is that you have a male character a ma a male character that sacrifices himself. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, it's a perfect story arc, but yeah. he does it in order to be replaced by a female character. 
And it's like, you could see it. It's been happening for a while now. And it's been small. Like you could see, you could see it like little by little coming up. But now it's so egregious and so obvious, you know, that it's just painful to watch it. You just see it. It's like, you watch the story and you're like, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. The green knife story was the ultimate, like, it was so interesting that at the end of, I don't know if you saw the green knight, but at the end oh, of the movie, they, they reveal like that pattern. It's like, it's insane. They have like an extra credit scene which they didn't, which they didn't need, but they put it there. It's like a coda, which tells you, this is what it's all about. It's about, it's a, it, it's about replacing it's the king. Yeah. yeah. But, but like I said, it's going to, it's going to play itself out. And at some point there'll be no, there'll be no other story to tell.